In this tutorial, we're going to look at the input box control in particular. This control is a little bit different to some of the standard controls like buttons, text boxes and labels that you've already come across. The key difference is that when you look over here in the toolbox, if we go into the all windows forms, and go down here into the alphabetical list, you'll see there's no input box listed. This is because the input box control can only be accessed through code. It has no visual element until we call it in the code. So what I have here is a very basic pro program. We're going to have all the code behind this button here called BTN Calculate. I've got a little label here that just describes the content that will be shown in this text box. Now the reason the text box is grayed out here is because I set its read-only property to, to true. That way we can't type anything into it. The point of this program is that instead of getting the user input from, say, text boxes like we've done before, we're going to get it through another control, the input box. So we need to go into code first by double-clicking the Calculate Numbers button. Now we know that as our output, we want the sum of two numbers to be displayed in our text box. So we go back and think, well, what kind of variables do we need? So in the declarations part of our code, we need three variables. Dim num1, let's say, as, keep it simple, whole number integer. And dim num2 is integer. I also need a variable that's going to hold the result of the addition. Now we need to get our input. I'll just put that there as a comment. And our input is going to come from, in this case, input boxes. So the basic syntax is we put our variable on the left of the assignment statement. Remember that equal sign. Then we call the input box function. Then we write the, in speech marks the name of the little message that we want printed on the input box. Oops. Do the same for the second variable, the second number. Remembering that when IntelliSense like this comes up here, once it's on the correct thing, not input string but input box, you can press tab on your keyboard and it will write it for you. A bit like predict predictive text on your phone. Now once we've got our input, we need to do processing of the little calculation. We place into the variable called sum the result of the addition, which is on the right hand side of the assignment, st assignment statement. And then finally, we need to display the result. Now, when we run the program, press F5. Click the button and up pops the first input box. Press OK and up pops the second input box because these two lines here occur one after the other. Press OK. The calculation is done over here and then we see the result over here. One to one. If we do it again, two plus three now the result has changed over here to 5. And that's it for the input box control. 